Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau said on Thursday he had discussed with Castro last year the possibility of working together to defuse global tensions with North Korea. Can we pass along messages through surprising condits? Trudeau asked in a Q&A session after a speech. It was a topic of conversation when I met President Raul Castro last year. These are the kinds of things where Canada can, I think, play a role that the United States has chosen not to play, this past year. Canada had an interest in seeking solutions, not just because of regional security but also because the flight path of possible North Korean missiles would pass over its territory, Trudeau said. R.I. met his Cuban counterpart Bruno Rodriguez this week and the ministers denounced U.S. unilateral and arbitrary lists and designations that led to coercive measures contrary to international law, according to Cuba's foreign ministry. The ministers called for respect for people's sovereignty and the peaceful settlement of disputes, according to a ministry statement. President Donald Trump has increased pressure on Cuba since taking office, rolling back a detente begun by his predecessor Barack Obama and returning to the hostile rhetoric of the Cold War. North Korea and Cuba are the last countries in the world to maintain Soviet-style command economies, though under Raul Castro, the Caribbean nation has taken small steps toward the more market-oriented communism of China and Vietnam. Raul took over the presidency in 2008 from his older brother and revolutionary leader Fidel Castro, who died on November 25 last year. Cuba is marking the anniversary on Saturday with vigils and concerts. L8N1 NS6SF Cuba maintains an embassy in North Korea but trades mostly with South Korea. Last year, trade with the latter was $67 million and just $9 million with the North, the government said.